what's going on guys welcome back to another episode i'm your girl kiva and i'm adriel today we're going to be sharing with you sex during pregnancy now you know we face different challenges <laughs> you know going through um the first trimester and you know sex is just another one of them that is unpredictable um it's not something that many people share so we had to learn for ourselves but we want to be open and transparent with you guys and before we continue if you're new to our channel just go ahead and click that subscribe button and do not forget to like this video so let's just get straight into it so you know for me when it came to sex i just thought everything was going to be the same i actually thought things might be even better because she wasn't experiencing any nausea but i thought man there's no you know there's the monthly cycle is is off for nine months you know what's going off say party but yeah man so that's that's what was playing in my mind not knowing that you know the woman's body goes through so many different changes hormonal and even her mood and she wasn't always in the mood i was never in the mood yeah i was like to be honest y'all it's like i had zero zero desire to be intimate with my guy with my husband at all like it was Ooh. just it was i just didn't want to have sex i didn't have a desire but to be honest i did it just because i did try yeah i did i, I was like okay you want to have sex tonight yeah. I know, I was, that sound bad, but I was just like, you know... It's a struggle sometimes. Yeah, but you know, for me, I didn't... And that's one thing I didn't know. I didn't know that my libido would have gone all the way down. Some women, their um, sex drive increases, but for me, it was just like, I'm good. And I think that's what I heard in the past, that the sex drive goes up. So that's all that stuck in my mind. That's all you heard? Yeah, that's all I heard from whoever. <laughs> I don't even know where I heard that from. I couldn't tell you. Yeah. But it's it was something that we had to adjust to. And because I know, or because I knew rather that he's a man, he has his needs to, yes, I don't feel like it. I said, okay, I'm gonna do this anyway because I don't want him to be all deprived and sad and frustrated <laughs> and stressed out and feeling weak and all um, these emotions that will come with it if he doesn't, you know. So I said, okay, just I'll, I'll, I'll try. And I did, I did. And when the doctor said that we can't have sex, I was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> See that? <laughs> I was like, God wow. answers prayers, hallelujah, yeah, so hallelujah. Cool. So the doctor was like, no sex. And he was like, what? No uh, sex in that. I'm like. Yeah, definitely don't talk like that. But yeah, <laughs> I was like, it was a struggle. But you know, God said, my grace is sufficient. Thankfully, that only lasted for the first trimester. Like, only, she's saying only guys. Like, I mean, like a only... trimester is not like three months. Would you rather three yeah, months I'll or take, nine months? I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I'll, I'll give out some tips. Occupy yourselves. By Stay doing busy. What? Um, there's work stuff you could be doing. There's some productive stuff. There's reading. If you don't read, that Ooh. would be a great time. Go work out. To pick up a book. Yeah. Go work out. Um, yeah, I don't do cold showers, so I'm not going to suggest that. But if that's for you, you can do that as well. But yeah. I know like, okay, true story, y'all. This is gonna be about to be real transfer. He don't even remember this. He probably be like, babe. Okay, so one day, I was just having a conversation, right? He just came out the shower. I'm just talking, talking, talking. And he just looked at me. I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, we were just having a conversation. No. <laughs> y'all, I ran. I, I ran away. I ran away. And what can you do? Like, I was like, well, so babe, we were only having a conversation. <laughs> like, why is, why, you, why does it even happen? And he's like, he's like, babe, I don't know. It's just... It's just time to go. What do you mean? Like... Only lasted for the first trimester. Um, shout out to my homegirl who was like, girl, 
eat you some asparagus and that I did and um, you know libido came back in the second trimester he actually couldn't keep up with me so do you have any uh, encouragement for the guys out there who didn't even don't, don't know that this is about to happen like what yeah just just stay positive there, there's no way you can predict what's what's gonna happen how she's gonna feel have a heart of service so you know throughout the whole process try and think about what are her needs over yours i know it's not easy as human beings we are selfish in nature but god is able to give you that service mentality and he will help you what does she need you know does she need her back rubbed actually don't do that because that might that might turn you that on. might get you in the mood <laughs> but if that's what she needs that feet, actually hap that happened that happened before <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, if she wants some food, some tea, just have a heart of service for, for her needs in that moment. I need to pick up a bell. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Alfred. <laughs> Guys, um, like I said, this, this is just our journey. Yeah. We wanted to share with you our experience. Like I said, I had no idea that that would happen. Because if you had spoke, if you had say this to Kiva last year, or when I was younger, keep up me, what? <laughs> the Beatle gone who? Like that wasn't finna happen, but yo, yeah, stuff change. Yeah. My body changed. We will be dropping a video on the things I didn't expect to happen to my body during uh, pregnancy. Mm -hmm. And it's a beautiful journey, but it's also a journey of patience, yes. of endurance. <laughs> and much more. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and feel free ladies to, and guys who are watching to drop your comments and say, yo, how how was it for you guys in that, in that moment? How did you deal with it? How did yeah. you cope? All right guys, so we hope you don't have to go through this, but if you do, all the best, God will be with you. <laughs> but guys, of course, we can't leave without reminding you that you are blessed, blessed and, and highly, highly favored. favored. We are gonna see y'all in the next video.